Growing up in California and Nevada, Joshua Gomez was surrounded by hot rodding since birth. Essentially raised on race tracks, Gomez built his first engine at just 16 years old, a 406 cubic inch small block Chevy. Today, Gomez is 45 years old and has built over 700 engines, from Cadillacs, Fords and Chevys, to Hondas, Nissans and Toyotas, as well as some Mopars and AMCs. With plenty of knowledge and the ability to build almost anything, Gomez started Motivation Performance in Ventura, California. Recently, he built a turbocharged Gen 5 454 big block Chevy engine for his 1971 Chevelle, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrain. Precision, performance, Pengrain. Always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original, leading technology, leading service. And SCAT Crankshafts, everything for your LS engine. Hey everyone, I'm Evan Laux for Engine Builder, and today we're taking a look at Motivation Performance's build of a 454 big block Chevy engine. Gomez wanted something that was cheap, fast, and stayed together. With his experience, he was able to create a reliable piece that was also affordable. To start, Gomez utilized a factory Gen 5 454 block. From there, he found various parts on eBay and automotive forums to start building the engine, such as a standard stroke and journal crankshaft, some used aluminum rods, and some brand new custom standard bore pistons. According to Gomez, he found stuff people didn't use or couldn't use. He found some heads from Speedmaster 79 that fit his budget and filled them with some used pack valve springs and new Ferrea heavy duty oversized valves. The heads were already way too big CC wise for the application, so Gomez cleaned up the combustion chamber, did a competition valve job, and milled a tenth off the deck to get the compression back up. After milling another four hundredths off the block to get the piston closer to the deck, he found a used solid roller camshaft from Crane Cams, used Comp Cams Gold Rockers, a Joe Mar stud girdle off of RaceJunk.com, and some brand new Crower lifters for the build. In addition, Gomez got custom tapered 7 16th push rods from Smith Brothers, a single plane manifold and 4500 series throttle body from Speedmaster 79. With hours of work on the bridge port and hand porting the intake, Gomez got it to fit his extremely decked, one-off head and block creation. He even made his own oil pan. To finish out the big block Chevy build, Gomez added a 112mm precision turbo, a custom-built air-to-water intercooler, an electric pump fuel system, and a Haltech 2500 computer. All said and done, Gomez says he's happy with the setup. It's a very reliable turbo engine on a budget and one fun car in the streets. On 30 PSI of boost, it'll make about 1800 horsepower and it keeps the air fuel ratio happy at 11.3 to 1 on E85 fuel. All that power is going through an 8.2 10 bolt rear end with 33 spline axles and a strange spool. With the engine living happy in his 1971 Chevelle, Gomez says he's proud of himself for being a doer and a builder and keeping true to the original game of hot rodding. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. Thanks to our sponsors Pengrade 1, Scat Crankshafts, and L-Ring. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have an engine you'd like to see featured, please email our editor Greg Jones at gjones at babcox.com. We'll see you next time.